Okay, this will be a short session, about five minutes long, just to give you a basic rundown, a basic walkthrough of the process you would go through in order to find the correct service or some local services for your client and to, to, to be as helpful as possible in making referrals. So first step, go to Google or your search engine of choice, type in my community directory Canberra or whatever your local area is. Now I could give the, the URL directly but really that's the easier one to remember my community directory it's these guys they've set up community directories for all different parts of the country and they're working on others for other parts of the country this is what their website looks like so you can basically search for any services that you would like. It's it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I'm searching for um, counselling, for example, brings up various different categories. Um, I'm just going to look for all of them. You can choose your area or you can actually ask it to find your specific area. But let's say that the client lives in Nanawal. It's doing a search there. It's found it from the drop down box. There's the suburb. And I want somewhere with, within a reasonable distance. Let's start with 15 kilometres. Let's start with 10. And we can do a quick search. Nothing spectacular in all of this. It takes just a little while because it's searching through a, a reasonable sized database. While that's looking, I can tell you a couple of extra tricks that it has. Um, there is an advanced search facility. I've actually found it's easy to just type in as few as possible search parameters on your first attempt until here we have 163 results. I'll bring that up to a, a slightly bigger size again there from the Canberra Council area. Here's our search. Here's all of our different areas. It has a language facility. I haven't tested that. I think like all Google Translate products it can be a bit hit and miss but it might just be useful for your particular client so and here we have the different services clearly quite a few of them i think 143 it said you could narrow that down so if you know the name of your service then obviously enough you can just type it in and search for it if you know a particular area now okay so far nothing spectacular we can look at the different let's choose the first one eden monero support group it has a lot of the things we've come to expect from a decent database. One of the things I'd like to point out, first of all, you can set up an account. You could hit add to favorites and if there's services that you're using quite a lot, then you could have a favorites list there. You will of course need to log on, which I haven't done, but log in, set up an account and you'll be right to go there. So that's point number one. You can have all of those shortcuts there for the services you know that you and your service use regularly. If this was one I've just added it to my favourites. You'll notice that the address is a hyperlink and that there is a get direct button. Either of those will open up the maps integration it has basically. Here you have the service and if you've ever used Google Maps you would know you can hit directions and you can say if the client lives at uh, 17 Allison Street. I'm hoping there is a 17 Allison Street in Goulburn. There we go. This will give specific directions step by step. It takes a bit more than an hour for the client to drive there. What I love about it is for many of our clients, there's the public transport option. That's going to take the client five and a half, perhaps six hours, but it's there and they can choose when exactly to do it. So we could actually say depart at, that's not what I was after, arrive by. If the appointment for this particular service was for five o'clock next Wednesday, clicking on the date, I could go Wednesday next week. I want to arrive by five and there's the best directions give you a full view of the map there. It's only going to take two and a half hours this route or three and a half that route. But you can then save that. If, this, if for some reason your client rode a push bike, you could say that they could do it via Braidwood for five hours, but let's not do that. 
Other options are that you can print this. So you could actually take those exact directions and you could either share it by emailing it to your client or you could print it so that they've got an easy handout there either with the map or without but there's the specific times and the bus routes and all the directions that they would need in order to get where they need to go. That's excellent service to your client to be able to hand that stuff to them. You can schedule what time they'd need to go, you can print it, you can share it by email. That's the two services. Google Maps integrated with the My Community search 